Let's go out to um, Weatherford. I don't know where Weatherford is, but we're going to find out and speak with Harry. Harry, thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. Tell me where Weatherford is. That's just the west of uh, Fort Worth in Texas. Oh, okay, great, great. Um, are you a are you a uh, are you a longtime resident of that area? I've been out here about half my life. Okay, well that works. That works for me. I think I've been in Florida for more than half of my life out there. So uh, and uh, so how how is the economy in Weatherford? That's not too bad. We're uh, growing quite a bit. Cool. Good. Good. And uh, CB. Uh, SI, which is CV Sciences, Inc. Uh, tell me what you're doing with it and how I can help you. This thing has been on a tear as of the last uh, month or so. Yeah, I got in at uh, 85 about a month or so ago, and it dipped down to 78, and then it's been uh, going up to the moon here. And I'm looking to get in uh, with some more, uh, but I'm waiting for another pullback. I guess it pulled back today, we can say, the uh, but now it's back up again. So I was just looking to see if I get some guidance. Well, first you you got a nice trade. Was there what is it that got you into uh, weather? Uh, get got you into CV Sciences? Um, you know, at the eighty four cent level, was it a this little breakout that you saw on May fifteenth, or was it something else that you have been tracking with this specific uh, equity out here? No, I hadn't been tracking it. Uh, uh, actually, my son uh, talked to me about it, said that he got a tip from somebody. So I looked at it a little bit, and I said, well, we'll just throw a little bit in there and see what happens. So yeah. that's what we did. Well, you could tell your son what happened, as he already knows, it turned into a little bit of magic. Um, right. And and so with regard to, you know, is it pulling back today? Yeah. Is that a bearish reversal signal? Could be. Uh, because uh, yesterday's high and low have been exceeded by today's candle session. And there's no question that we can call this stretch. Harry, we're just about to go to a break. Would you be kind enough to hold on? And then we'll finish yeah, this up for sure. you. Okay. Sure, sure. So we'll go back out to uh, Texas with Harry. We'll take a look at CVSI. Might be the old Eiffel Tower formation. Uh, but we'll take a look at that when we get back from this break. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at uh, CVSI, uh, CV Sciences, Inc. It's a uh, marijuana uh, type of uh, uh, equity out here. And uh, Harry on the line is uh, up about 200% or so on this issue. Harry, how often are you up 200% on uh, some of your trades? <laughs> Not too often. So, <laughs> you know what they say about greed. Right. Like it, it could kill this. You know, I, I don't know enough about this company. I tried looking during the break, see if I could get any kind of information. What you'd have to do is really go to the um, SEC website, which I'd recommend that you do that for. If you'd like to, if you're looking at this as more of a longer term investment. Um, and uh, you can just search by the uh, company or the ticker symbol and you'll be able to take a look at their 10K. You'll be able to get some financial data just understand what's going on here. I can tell you from a technical standpoint, you're in at 80 cents. If, if you're thinking of holding this for the long term, what I would do, and I would do it based on today's candle, which could be a, is, is a key reversal at the moment. It won't be if it closes above the open. The open was 240 or 234. But certainly I put this on a 10 minute time frame and somebody was unloading. And uh, and when I say somebody, 10 minutes and 10 minutes, there was a million shares that moved to the uh, downside. So somebody was happy to take their two or three hundred percent profit as well. I don't know if they're out and they're gone. Um, and and neither neither would you at this stage here. But one thing you could always do um, is to get back all of your principal. Then you would have free shares inside of CV Sciences. And then you could make a decisions along the way, at least give you uh, some time to, you know, investigate it because it sounds like I, so that, that's a because otherwise on this chart, you know, this must have been a reverse merger. I say that because um, which means, you know, they went ahead and they 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 bought uh, you know some company that was defunct in order to go public, uh, because if we take a look at the price history of this entity, it says that they were trading at a high of 201 back in 2014. I doubt that that's the case out here. And so this was an easy way for them to be able to get, you know, into the public market out there. So I just think it would really need to do a lot more research than what I can 
uh, share with you, but at least we can take a look at today's activity, which is what had you concerned. And then to yeah. answer the question, should you be concerned, I'd say there's definitely sellers in this thing. There's no doubt about that. And maybe you should be one of them too, because um, you've, you've got a nice gift. So you've got a couple options. You take your 200% or you just simply t convince yourself that you want to stay in this thing and maybe just get your principal back. Oh, those are my thoughts. Any questions about that? Yeah. No, it sounds good. I really appreciate uh, your input. Okay. You bet. Uh, Thanks so much for listening. Uh, any, can anything I else I can do? Thing? Yeah, go ahead. But what about uh, GBTC? You think that uh, might be on the move again? GBTC, so Bitcoin. So yeah. Bitcoin, in order to really take a look at Bitcoin, I would be looking at the uh, futures contract versus that ETF just to try to understand um, what's going what's going on so you've asked the question let me see if there's anything here in uh, Bitcoin that I can take a look at inside the futures contract in this case here I've got the daily time frame up on my chart but I'm just going to change that to a two-hour time frame chart see if there's anything that even the futures contract isn't isn't really liquid enough out here um, to to get me that interested let me try the other uh, futures contracts, see if there's anything else. No, not, not really. Um, GBTC, let me, let, let me do this because I, I really haven't studied it well enough, I think, to give you a, a good answer. And the, the data inside the futures contract isn't, there's just not enough there just yet for me to really do some of my wizardry technical analysis, I can share this with you. If it has found a bottom, which in essence was your question, and I can see where it may have, uh, what you would expect is $11.19 should hold, meaning no close below it, and then price should maybe make its way up to the 1399 to the 1938 level, and that's what I see right now. You really want to see this close above 1277 for that to uh, for that to occur. So we'll just simply default back to the Bitcoin Investment Trust ETF for our signals and go from there. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks, Bob. Steve. Appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for calling, and uh, all the way from Texas. Okay. Let's see what else we have out here.